Today we are presenting the annual assessment on the progress of our Western Balkans partner and Turkey on the European Union path. We are also setting out our recommendations on how to chart the way forward. Today is an important day for the Western Balkans and for Europe. We are advancing to make Bosnia and Herzegovina's European Union future a reality. The Commission recommends to the Council to grant Bosnia and Herzegovina candidate status. And this follows the clear expression of readiness by the European Union leaders in June to do so. To this end, Bosnia and Herzegovina should carry out a substantial set of key reforms that will strengthen fundamental rights, the rule of law, democratic institutions and their functionality in the country. The Commission sets 14 key priorities in its opinion on Bosnia and Herzegovina's European Union membership application. These remains full valid and necessary to launch accession negotiations. Let me say to the citizens of Bosnia and Herzegovina, today is your day. Let's use this opportunity to move forward on the European Union path. We will continue supporting you along the way. You can count on me personally as High Representative for Foreign and Security Policy. You believe in your country's future, in your future inside the European Union. And we do so too. As much as we believe in the European future of Albania, North Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia and Kosovo. And we are determined to continue our engagement and dialogue with Turkey to move in the same direction. The European Union enlargement is a geostrategic investment in long-term peace, in prosperity and security for our continent. A strong and united Europe is more relevant than ever and has been underlined by the Russia's brutal invasion of Ukraine. In this assessment report that we adopted today at the College of the Commission, we are not only looking at the performance of our close partners, but of the future member states. This is about all of us. This is about the kind of union that we want for the future. Ultimately, it's up to each candidate or aspiring candidate to make the choices to ensure their future within the European Union. We are living in new geopolitical circumstances. And in these new circumstances, now more than ever, we need to stand together in defending our common values and international rules-based order. To build a strong Europe that protects its values and its citizens. For doing that, we need political vision and determined action. We need that now, right now, and in the future, in the days and weeks and months to come. Because moving ahead with enlargement is central to this work, is central for the future of Europe, is central for you and our altogether future. Thank you.